in the third line setting of chemotherapy for someone with advanced metastatic gastric cancer whose performance status was somewhere between one and two. That was apparently very real world because you don't know. <laughs> um, what would the likely outcomes of chemotherapy for that patient be in terms of how it would affect their quality of life in their last week of life? So we had data, that's what the data from the summer uh, publication demonstrated that patients with good performance status in that sense had the most to lose because those who avoided chemotherapy had a 70, uh, nearly 70 percent of them had a good quality of death whereas those who had good performance status at baseline and were on chemotherapy controlling for all the compounds like uh, feeling better uh, controlling for all those things those who got chemotherapy at baseline had uh, worse quality of death in their last week of life compared to those who avoided chemotherapy. So for those who had bad performance status, uh, like an ECOG of two or three, there was really very little harm, very little benefit. They, they weren't feeling great at our baseline assessment, which was about four months before they died. Um, and then they weren't feeling great then, and they weren't feeling great. And when, when we say feeling great, we have in the weeks after the patient dies, we have the caregiver who was most familiar with their care evaluate what, what their quality of life was like. So, so that's how we evo evaluate quality of death. And the patients who started out not feeling well on a quality of life score ended up having much worse quality of life if they had a good performance status and got chemotherapy compared to those who didn't.